So I am going back to prison. Okay, you guys have been hearing me say this shit for a while. So I just want to go ahead and kind of explain what happened that's putting me in that situation. Okay, so obviously, you know, when you come home in Pennsylvania, unless you do your full max sentence, you come home on parole. Well, pol parole has a lot of different stipulations and rules, right? Um, for example, they might give you a curfew when you first come home. So when I first came home, I had a curfew. It was 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Couldn't be out. Uh, that got lifted once I started working overnights. So then they were like, okay, you don't have a curfew anymore. And then, you know, we're here. It's been two and a half years since I've been home. So I don't have as many of the dumb rules as other people just coming home. Well, like when you first come home, you might see your PO once every two weeks or once every month. Because I've been out long enough, I've only been seeing my PO like every three or four months. So it makes a big difference because you don't always have to worry about, you know, oh man, PO's coming. As long as you're doing good, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? I've had my share of little, you know what I mean? Close calls and shit. With, with always dumb shit though. Like nothing that was ever like a law that I broke. It was just like a stipulation or a rule that I broke. Like wasn't here when I was supposed to be here. Or um, a drug test or something like that. That was a minute ago. That was like two years ago. Um, just like random stuff like that. You know what I mean? With them considering TikTok not a job and stuff like that. But be for the most part, I haven't gotten any sort of actual trouble. You know what I mean? So when you come home, you can't go and visit your people in prison. You know what I mean? You're not allowed to just get on a visit list and go up there and see them. You have to be out free on the street for two years, okay, which is longer than I've been out now. You have to get permission from your PO. You have to get permission from the jail, okay? So it's like a lot of hoops you have to jump through. So after going through all that bullshit, right, I get approved because I've been out long enough. I've been doing good. You know what I mean? I have actually something like I'm making my LLC for my name now, you know, for everything with my social media, because like I've said before, my goal is to give people jobs when they come home. That's the whole thing. That's what we're trying to build up to. Yeah, I'd like to make a lot of money, but I'd like to make less money and pay someone else money, too. That's just how I that's just how I want it to be. You know what I mean? I'm trying to have me and all my friends eat. That's just what it is. So COVID hits, can't go visit anybody or anything like that, right? So now they're letting in-person visits back. So I'm finally allowed to go back to prison and visit my friends. I'm not actually going back to prison because I got in trouble or anything like that. You would have to be a damn fool, a fool to fuck up what I have. Okay, I'm not a fool. Maybe back in the day, maybe 10 years ago. Damn. Yo, <laughs> side note. 10 years ago, I caught my case. Halloween 2011. It's almost been 10 years since I caught my case. Like, that shit... That shit just kind of, like, fucked my head up while I was talking. But, um... So, I'm going to be able to go see my friends. You know what I mean? I'm only on two of their lists. One of my homies is coming home in September. So, the, I mean, there's really no point in me going up to visit him because he's about to be out in a couple of days anyway. Um, but one of my homies... Do your options. Online. What? Um, sorry, I got an email and I didn't know who the fuck it was from because it had somebody's name on it. Um, damn, man. This is what, this is what untreated ADHD does to you. I swear, right? Like, since I, since I haven't been taking my meds, like, I swear it's just been fucking my head up. Um, what was I saying? Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, so I'll be able to go visit my friends, right? And, uh, like, you can't record or anything like that because I know people are going to ask me to go in and record and everything like that. You can't do that. Pennsylvania, they don't let you bring nothing to record inside courtrooms. Like, the, the press don't be in the courtrooms. They don't bring nothing inside the jails. Nothing like that. COs can't even have their phone in Pennsylvania prisons. In the visit room, you got to go to go into a visit. You got to go through a um, full body scanner, come into the visit. They do a drug scan on your hands and stuff, which are actually bullshit drug scans because they don't even, like, allow them in most places anymore because they're so temperamental. Like, my mom kept failing one, right, for... Um, they said it was an ingredient in LSD. And like my mom was going to college full time, you know, had my sick dad, my siblings and everything. And it was literally from the medicine that she was taking, like her antidepressants. It was like secreting through her skin, like one of these ingredients. And they banned her for six months from the visit. But that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story. Um, I still made jokes about it. They're talking about saying, yeah, well, if you didn't have a fuck acid lab in your house, and she she'd be so mad. But yeah, that was that was kind of rough, like seeing, you know, my mom every week and then not having no visits for, you know, six months. But um, so I want to let you, I want to ask y'all, right? I'm going to, when I go in there, like I'm going to go in there to see him, but I'm going to ask him like questions so that I can come back and give y'all the responses or set up a, you know, a phone thing so that I can interview him based off questions that you guys ask. So if you guys have questions that you want me to ask him specifically as you guys be in, you know, YouTube or TikTok people, go ahead and let me know what they are because I will 100% 
ask him whatever. Like, obviously, I'll go in there. I don't need to ask him anything. I already know everything. You know what I mean? But if there's stuff specifically as followers that you guys would like, please just let me know. Um, I'm going, I'm going to be posting. God damn, I've been stuttering like a motherfucker. I'm going to be posting on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. I know this one's coming out a little late. But I'm back on the YouTube grind every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to make the videos based off of comments that you guys leave, just like I do on TikTok. So if you guys have something that you'd like me to talk about, comment it. Okay, you guys know I try to get to everything. And uh, any good stories that I can tell you, I'll tell you here. More detail and stuff with that. I'm still not going to use nobody's name because I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble or nothing. You know what I mean? And most of this stuff is old anyway. But um, I just want to give you guys what you want. You know, I've had a couple people ask me if I could react to like prison movies and stuff like that. If that's something that you guys would like, I can 100% do that. I'm just trying to give you guys what you like. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm creating content, but I want to create content that you guys actually want to see. I don't want to just shit post like I do on TikTok. You know what I mean? TikTok's easy because I can grab the comment right off the video. Boom, slap the sticker on there and then just tell a story on it. You know what I mean? It's a lot different. I have to actually, you know detail out how I want to tell a story on YouTube because there's a different algorithm, a different way that it works. So anything that you guys want to hear or see, just let me know and we'll get right on it. Like I said, I appreciate you guys for 25k subs. I appreciate everybody for still being here and rocking with me this long. You guys already know you're the best. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day.